I'll go to the other rooms later, I think. Come on, we should get a cutscene. A couple cutscenes, actually. I don't know if you want to call this a cutscene. Or not. Pull her down, take a break from that. It looks like they were cut by some type of blade. Who could that be? Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world. Such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. Wow. I've come from another world to do battle. What is it? Revenge? It is nothing. <coughs> Excuse me. Revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only a back in my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. Fine. <sighs> he can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Hey, boss. Yeah, just hide in that locker. Make me feel it. Make me feel I don't want to spoil his name. Again. But at the same time, I didn't want to say it. It's okay. Just hide in the locker. Where is he? I want to show you something, actually. Can I skip this? Uh, look at this. The PS1. And I don't know what game that is. Yeah, PS1. Aw, oh, man. Oh, let's get the rations out. Come on. He's almost done now. Ah. Shit. Catch 
It's not really that hard of a boss. Placed by... Dang it, I almost said his name. Oh, he's over there. I just saw him. There he is. I thought it was an instant kill for whatever reason. Don't break the PS1. Oh, that's it. I felt that snake. Do you remember me now? Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. Is that carpet? He must be putting his... That must hurt pretty bad. If that is carpet, that must hurt pretty bad. Is it over? I don't know how he's still awake. They're still up and about, I mean... The first person view didn't look like it was moving very fast. But that's my opinion. Code it call. Gray Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. I got a they text. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants.
How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Wow. Come on, <laughs> get out. We can't stay here forever. I am not an otaku. Actually, I, I am an otaku. I am a nerd. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Huh. Are you hurt? I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a rail gun. A rail gun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on its back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah. But that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Lab, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link I'll be right them, back. you can test the virtual environment. But it's all so this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launch that thing... Damn. Damn. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father. Was born in okay, I'm back. Oh, they're talking about World War II. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. 
We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind, but the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind just in the movies. That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where is that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. Then you need him. Right. My duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? <sighs> okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. Try and fix my shoe. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they spotted me! <laughs> Meryl, what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? Oh, there's music. She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. Disguise? She has such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. Oh. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm oh, nothing. Okay. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otacon. 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 for otaku convention. And otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Wow. <laughs> Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. <coughs> You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, 
With this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Well, I think that's going to be it for this time. Let's do the code of call. And then, yeah. So, thank you for watching. This has been Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. And I will see you mites next time. Snake, there's an old Chinese saying. A scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassa like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just a theoretical I wanted to make people. The Silicon Ray the Vodex system. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich, too. But he was used like a tool. Used to make a horrible killing machine. Maybe it would be better if engineers like us just stopped making things. I don't know.